This was an opportunity to update the community leadership here about what's happening at Ellsworth and get it from the, uh, the commander out there as well. The challenges, all of which are manageable, but um, continues to be a great story. And I uh, just want to give people an update the progress report. There are partnerships underway and uh, building projects that uh, to, to create the capacity that we're going to need for the additional uh, men and women who will be coming in. And, and remember, this ramps up over time. It doesn't happen overnight, so there's going to be there's a little bit of lead up to it. But we just want to make sure that we're ready. And one of the things that we're trying to address, in addition to housing stocks, a number of houses and, and uh, you know, rental units uh, that, that would be available, um, is also upping the amount, the basic allowance for housing that our service members get, especially in areas of the country where housing is expensive than it is here in Rapid City. And so that was one of the things that we included this year in the Defense Authorization Bill was authority for the Secretary of the Air Force to increase that basic housing allowance, which I think right now is $900 for a single person and $1,200 for a married couple, which, um, you know, in this uh, economy, it, it makes it pretty challenging. So we want them to use the authority that they have to increase uh, that and then we'll continue to look at the capacity issues and working with the leadership.